Okay, we're here at Pikes Peak. I've been up on some of uh, high mountains, Stelvio Pass, amazing. But Pikes Peak, 14,000 feet, it's literally breathtaking. The views are incredible, and this public road is a race course. And there's off-camber corners, there's corners with no guardrails. It's a long way down if you get it wrong. So our boy Troy is gonna have his work cut out for him racing up this hill. But boy, if you want something spectacular, you can come up here, you can ride your bike when the race isn't on, and it's quite an experience. We are in, I believe this is technically Colorado Springs, Colorado, at the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb for the 91st running of the event. I'm here with Zero and Hollywood Electrics riding a Zero FX, specially tuned by Harlan Flag, owner of uh, Hollywood Electrics. It's got a bunch of trick bits to it, uh, really fancy stuff. And we're going from 9,000 feet at the start line to 14,000 feet at the top. And it's uh, some of this elevation in the, uh, in the road itself, you can't really see in the video. You have to be there to experience it. We're climbing. And you know, you can't help but as you're going up the hill, kind of looking off to the side to see what's down there. And it's, it's unreal the scenery you get. You get rocks, sheer cliff faces that just drop, uh, road, greenery. It's really beautiful. Just don't experience it by flying off the cliff, as always tell you in the riders' meeting. Um, as far as riding the bike goes, the zeros. Where we eating? That's the question. I think electric bikes right now are getting the bad reputation that they're slow and not very fun. I'm here to say that is completely incorrect because we've passed a lot of gas bikes up this hill. Uh, we're about mid-pack as far as all of the, I believe there's about 80 motorcycles entered in here. We're right in the middle of all of them. In fact, some of us are even better than in the middle of some of them. So we're going plenty fast. We're passing a lot of gas bikes and uh, I think we're turning some heads. So today's Friday, qualifying day. Uh, they split the track into three sections, top, middle, bottom, and uh, you get a chance to try each one. Strangely, they use the bottom section as the only qualifying session you get. And so uh, today, we're in the bottom section for the first time, qualified. Uh, but the reason why I'm sitting down with my leg in the air might be kind of obvious. I had a little spill anyway, going up the hill. Right. Trying to figure out what I did wrong and what I can do to improve for Sunday. And Sunday is the big race, uh, top to bottom. I'm trying to get underneath 12 minutes and we'll see if we can do that. But uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Alright, so I'm back home from Pikes Peak. It's been a wonderful week. Uh, I finished third in my class, which was about all I could hope for with a busted foot. Uh, Jeff Clark won the race with a 12 minutes flat. Jeremiah Johnson got a 12.05. I got a 12.24. And considering I can't walk and I'm wearing this big old thing on my foot, I'm happy with that. I gotta thank Hollywood Electric, Zero Motorcycles, Harlan Flag, TJ Geary. Uh, the fan support and enthusiasm has been incredible. I haven't seen anything like that before. They stayed up there for seven hours waiting for us to come back down the hill and each and every one of them were on the side of the road giving us high fives and cheering us on. It was really cool, really something special. I'm really glad to be a part of it. Um, speaking of the fan support, what was really cool being on the zeros uh, was that as I was braking for a turn, because the bike is so quiet, I could actually hear the fans cheering me on as I turned. That was something I've never experienced before and it was kind of cool. Yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of this experience with me. And if you want to see my full report on Pikes Peak, go to Motorcycle.com.